Once upon a time, in a small town nestled in the rolling hills, there lived a curious and imaginative six-year-old boy named Elias. Elias loved exploring the world around him, and his favorite thing to learn about was the weather. He would watch the clouds drift lazily across the sky, listen to the pitter-patter of rain on his window, and marvel at the vibrant colors of a rainbow after a storm. One sunny morning, Elias stumbled upon a magical book called All About Weather, a first weather book for kids in his local library. As he turned the pages, he was transported into a world filled with meteorological wonders. The illustrations came alive, and Elias found himself standing on a cloud, surrounded by friendly faces. The cloud beneath his feet began to float, carrying Elias higher into the sky. He looked around and saw that he was in a magnificent realm called Weatherland. The cloud was guided by two mischievous weather wizards named Nimbus and Cirrus. They had fluffy white hair and wore robes that matched the colors of the sky. Nimbus, with his booming voice, introduced himself and Cirrus to Elias. Welcome, young adventurer, to Weatherland. We are the guardians of the weather. Would you like to explore the secrets of the seasons and discover how weather works? Elias, his eyes sparkling with excitement, nodded eagerly. Nimbus waved his hand, and a whirlwind of information surrounded Elias. The air sparkled with facts about the four seasons, clouds, rainbows, and so much more. Elias learned that clouds were made up of tiny droplets of water or ice crystals, and that different types of clouds predicted the weather. He discovered that rainbows were created by the sunlight bending and reflecting through the raindrops in the air. As Elias absorbed all the fascinating knowledge, he couldn't help but notice that something was amiss in Weatherland. Nimbus and Cirrus explained that the Weatherland clock, which controlled the weather patterns, had been damaged. The seasons were out of balance, and storms were brewing where they shouldn't be. Elias, with his newfound understanding of weather, knew he had to help fix the clock. With Nimbus and Cirrus leading the way, they embarked on a daring quest through the ever-changing landscapes of Weatherland. They journeyed through the forests of spring, the sun-drenched meadows of summer, the golden fields of autumn, and the icy tundra of winter. Along the way, Elias encountered friendly creatures who shared their wisdom. He met Whistler, a wise owl who taught him how to listen to the wind and predict changes in the weather. He befriended Sunbeam, a playful ray of sunshine who showed him how sunlight made plants grow. And he even helped Raindrop, a cheerful droplet, find its way back to the clouds. As Elias and the weather wizards reached the heart of Weatherland, they finally found the Weatherland clock. It was a colossal machine covered in gears, levers, and colorful crystals. Elias realized that a vital gear was missing, causing the clock to malfunction. With his determination and new knowledge, Elias searched high and low until he discovered the missing gear hidden in a forgotten corner of Weatherland. He carefully placed it back into the clock, and as he did, the gears whirred into motion, restoring balance to the seasons. The weather wizards congratulated Elias on his bravery and thanked him for his help. They bid him farewell, knowing that he would always carry the magic of Weatherland in his heart. As Elias descended back to his town, he couldn't wait to share his incredible adventure with his family and friends. He knew that from that day forward, he would always be connected to the weather, observing its wonders and understanding its mysteries. And so, every time Elias looked up at the sky, he would remember the magical journey he had taken in Weatherland, and how he had become a true weather wizard, bringing joy and knowledge to everyone around him. With dreams of weather adventures dancing in his head, Elias closed his eyes and fell into a peaceful sleep, knowing that tomorrow held endless possibilities. The End <laughs>